Hi, I'm Jeff Muth. I'm a clinical imaging specialist with GE Healthcare, and today we're going to go over the systems control panel. First thing that you're going to notice on our control panel is your technique that's displayed in your KVA, your MA, and your actual fluoro time. Down from there on the actual controls, you'll notice that everything is sectioned off and that everything is conveniently labeled. This button here is our image rotation. This is a digital one degree rotation and all that does is rotate the image around on the, on the monitor. These buttons here are your orientation buttons to properly get the anatomy in the proper orientation that the doctor wants it to be in. You have a, a mirrored image and a reverse image. Down here, we have our save button, so you can conveniently save from the actual C-arm. We have our swap workstation button. What that's gonna allow you to do is take your image from the left monitor and simply move that over to the right for the doctor's reference. This button here is the mode button. This button will allow you to go directly into your subtraction mode. So then you will be easily set up for subtraction. So the system always defaults to the normal magnification mode, but you can easily change it to mag one or mag two by the simple push of this button. And when you're running one of these mag modes, what you're gonna see on the screen is a, a larger image. And some of the, for instance, you may wanna use mag when looking at smaller anatomy. You may wanna use mag when you're running guide wires, stents, or catheters. Those may be some of the, the times you wanna run one of the mag options. These buttons here are our collimators. This one here is our iris collimator. So what that's gonna do is circle in on the actual image. This one here is our leaf collimator or our shutter collimator. And what that's gonna do is bring the, the shutter blades in from side to side. Now with the shutter collimator, you can actually rotate those collimators as you see fit or to fit the anatomy that you need it to fit. This button right here, this is kind of a two in one. So this button right down here is your auto contrast. That button is always gonna to default to on. So when the, the auto contrast button is off, what that's gonna allow you to do is use this button here to adjust your brightness and contrast for that specific case or the doctor's liking. And that change that you've made is actually gonna hold with you through the rest of the shots that you take. And the way to get that, the auto contrast back on, is with the touch of that button. There is one other feature to this button right here. This button will actually activate Smart Metal. You'll leave this auto contrast button on, but simply press up on this button. When you see the LED start to flash, that's your indication that you've activated Smart Metal. By activating your Smart Metal, what you're doing is readjusting the values and trying to match the density of the image previous. To turn Smart Metal off, it's a two tap on this auto contrast button. So one, two, and then you're back to normal. So on this system you can manually set your KV and your MA. However, you will need to take the auto KV MA button off. By doing this, now you are able to set KV and MA. 
So if you want to set KV and MA, say there's a technique that you've shot and you like that technique and it's working well for you on that case, then you can adjust KV or MA. You can also adjust KV and MA for certain patient pathologies. If you simply don't like the technique that you've set, hit the auto button again, and the auto KV and MA will revert back to the original setting that it was on. Here we have our pulse button. A simple press of the pulse button will activate your pulse. This is one of our dose reduction options. We also have low dose. Again, just like pulse, it's a simple push of one button. Now here you can see that low dose actually dropped your MA by half. This button here is our high fluoro generator button. So here you have your alarm reset. Around the five minute mark here on your fluoro timer, that alarm will go off. Just tap that button and that, uh, that chime will go off.